Now we are going to consider the next type of the question. This question, you're given the function and your task is to use Shannon's expansion to simplify it. And then you're given the, the circuit, uh, multiplexer basic circuit. You don't have to build it, but you have to put uh, the values uh, correspondingly in the, the right format, in the right places and so on. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to explain Shannon's expansion or what's multiplexer and this kind of stuff because you can find explanation and uh, examples to it in our previous videos. Uh, this video is kind of um, kind of shows you how to solve uh, another type of the question. Okay, so the tools that we need to solve this question were already covered. We given this. Mm -hmm. Uh, question. Okay, so V two, uh, not V two, W two, W three, K bar plus W one, W three plus W two bar, W three. So as I told you in my previous videos, before using Shannon's expansion, you have to select selector or you have to identify. The selector okay so just one minute please uh, one second okay let's go so uh, in this particular uh, problem we're, go we're gonna need only just one selector because later uh, uh, in the given multiplex basic circuit uh, you will come to know that there is only one selector I mean uh, in the given circuit, there is one selector, so we, should, we choose only just one selector out of the input. So we have W1, W2, W3, and doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which input you choose as your selector. And for simplicity, let's uh, choose W2. Uh, in the previous videos, I chose W1. Doesn't matter. Just choose one, okay? So I'm going to choose W2 as my selector. So W2 bar, and then... Uh, Multiply to the function. This is a template weight. Multiply to the function. So in the place of w, I mean the w one. In the place of w two, I'm gonna put a zero because here we have bar. Okay. So then w three uh, plus w two. In this case, without bar because uh, this is a. I mean, you know, in the multiplexer again. Let me just revise zero one. I mean, the so selector has this w two. Selector has two selectors zero and one two values this is for zero case and the next one is going to be for the one case okay because this why i mean instead of w2 you're going to put in here zero i mean this function you're going to substitute and uh, w2 here and uh, here this uh, zero and then the result the expect expression you're gonna um, put here i mean Okay, so more explanation you can find in previous video. So multiply W1, in this case, 1, W3. So then I have what? W2 bar multiplied to uh, 0 plus W1, W3. Uh, wait, please. Okay. Uh, okay, so w3 plus w3 so i mean here we have w2 right if you put zero you're gonna have zero this doesn't depend on w2 and here we have w2 bar so not zero is gonna be one so just w3 okay so w2 multiplied then instead of w2 i'm gonna put a one and so <clears throat> then i'm gonna have what w3 bar okay w3 bar right i mean here just w3 bar plus uh, w1 w3 because here we have w2 bar one not i mean not of one is going to be zero so zero multiplied w3 is going to be zero so what we have here w2 just w1 w3 uh, plus w3 plus w2 multiplied w3 bar plus w1 w3 actually you know what this is let's say 
uh, f okay let's say this is f1 this is f0 i mean f0 means when the selector's value is zero right uh, f1 means when the selector's value is one so actually this is f0 and this is f1 so again more explanation you can find in previous video so then let's simplify this f0 and f1 so uh, from here f0 is equal to w1 w3 plus w3 i'm gonna kind of move take w3 out of the bracket and i'm gonna have w1 from here and just one from here so one plus w1 is always one doesn't depend on the value of w1 if it's zero it's gonna be one if it's one it's gonna be one so the I mean, we can substitute with, with one, so W3 multiplied to one is always W3. So F0 is gonna be W3. Let me choose different color. So W, uh, <laughs> come on W1. F1 is equal to W3 bar plus W1, W3. This is the similar Boolean uh, expression uh, I've given formula last time, so imagine that W3 is A and W1 uh, is B. So we have here A, not, let's say, w, no, let's say uh, W3 bar is A. So we're going to have A plus uh, B multiplied, not B, let's say, instead of B first, so let's write W3. W3 bar is A, W3 is going to be what? Not A. So multiply just B. Because B is this one. So this is A, this is B, uh, this is not A. So this expression is equal to A plus B. Okay, so I'm going to substitute A and B. A is W3 bar plus W1. So our F1 is equal to W1 plus W3 bar. Okay, so we simplified everything. So let me rewrite this one okay here yeah. so w2 bar multiplied to uh, f0 f0 is what just w3 plus w2 multiplied to f1 f1 is this one w1 plus w3 bar so we simplify the given function and the next step is to build and the circuit using multiplexer but uh, in this particular example in this particular example uh, okay 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 so in this example uh, we have already the template function given so our task is just to put the correct inputs okay in the correct position so i'm gonna draw the circuit so this is given actually i'm gonna show it here firstly yeah this is a circuit so yeah i'm not gonna draw it I mean, i'm gonna just put everything right out here so we have uh, this function uh, we have this function f equal to and w2 bar multiplied w3 w2 is our selector right and uh, plus w2 multiplied w1 plus w3 bar so our selector is w2 so this is a selector right this is a selector so that means this is w i mean not it's not w2 i mean this is a line from where the value of selector comes i mean i mean here this is zero this is one so from here from this line we choose whether our selection is zero or one so that means uh, more no, normally we have we don't have here or yet we just have w2 but but just please be careful but uh we have uh, in shannon expansion this uh not uh, not w2 and just w2 right so those in order to choose zero or one i mean we just choose either zero or one right so in order to choose just zero or one um i don't know why but they put or gate so that's why it's, instead of i2 you're gonna put zero and here you're gonna put just w2 so uh if your w2 is zero uh zero and zero i mean 
if you or zero zero or operation your selection is going to be zero if w2 is one okay and your selection is going to bind so i guess there's actually there's no need for this or gate part okay no need for this part just you can put here w2 but they put or gate so that's why nothing nothing uh, nothing wrong here this is kind of a uh, way to kind of uh, confuse you to make you confused so don't be confused just put zero and w2 everything's okay so then we have two multiplexers you know uh this is actually v0 and this is v1 uh, uh, I, in the previous tutorials i explained to you that if you have two to the one multiplexer and uh, that means you have one selector a and you have two values uh for value for a being zero and value for i mean if your selection is zero your let's say yeah your uh f is going to be v1 if your selection is one your f is going to be v this is v0 actually v1 okay so this is your v1 and so this is your this is your v0 this is your v1 okay so actually what is the value of v0 in your case this is what this one w3 this is v0 and uh, this is your v1 okay so just v0 instead of just putting here just v0 they put this multiplexer okay uh to make your life difficult so don't i mean don't be shocked no problem so okay we're gonna put here what w3 okay so when w i mean w3 is our selector for this multiplexer so uh you know that w you know that i mean here you know that this equals to w3 right so if you choose in your multiplexer zero uh, here also the value of the i mean this multiplexer should be zero right because you know overall <laughs> multiplexers uh function i mean v0 is w0 so that's why if selection is zero output is zero if selection is one output is one it's pretty simple okay again i repeat uh, here when zero is selected from w2 uh, function is v3 that means here we have the value of v3 but instead of just putting the line v3 they kind of put here multiplexer okay but don't worry in this case uh, your selector is going to be w3 so if w3 selection i mean selector has value of zero the function i mean this function the output of this multiplexer should also have zero because output is the same to the selector i mean if your selector is a here is out which is also a so but in this case our selector is w3 so the output is also w3 so if selector is zero output is also zero if selector is one output is also one okay so hopefully it makes sense for you uh, let me delete this one okay this is w3 okay uh yeah v0 equal w3 and let me write it here so uh v1 oh uh, v1 equals to w3 bar plus w1 so in this case you have two inputs so uh, i'm considering this uh, multiplexer so you're gonna choose a uh, one uh, selector let's uh, let it be w3 okay let's be w3 so let's say w3 is our what selector so uh, this is v1 okay i mean this comes here so v1 equals to w1 plus w3 bar so selector has two selections zero and one so when w3 is zero okay when w3 is zero what we have w1 equals to w v1 equals to w1 plus a zero not zero which is going to be oh okay what happened okay which is going to be w1 plus not zero is going to be one one plus w1 is always w1 so that means when w3 is zero w no, no not w1 but the value of the multiplexer v1 is going to be just w1 so here i write w1 okay uh, let me delete uh, this part so let's consider the case when w1 not w1 sorry w3 selector or selector for this multiplexer i chose it as a selector you can choose also w1 doesn't matter okay when w3 is 
one i mean this case i'm casting this is i'm gonna find the output of the function okay this one when it's when it's one so it's gonna be w v1 sorry v1 equals to w mm. stop 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 i mean i made a mistake stop stop i made a mistake so stop when w3 is value is zero oh my god sorry and w3 is value is zero see you're gonna have v1 equals to w1 plus zero not zero it's gonna be one right so this is all operation one plus w1 is always one doesn't matter if it's zero or one it's always one right so here that's why we have one when v0 not v0 w3 w3 is zero v1 is gonna be one okay so so for it sorry for the confusion so okay let me delete unnecessary stuff okay so yeah so now when the selector is one when w3 selector is one v1 is going to be what w1 plus one not one is going to be zero right w why why it's not writing ah w1 plus zero is what w1 so here we have w1 okay so done you know done We're finished so uh, the difference from this from this problem from other problem is that uh, in this problem you're given this template and your task was to kind of fill out the uh, inputs okay correct variables correct inputs to this uh, function okay so in the previous video we kind of saw the example so the f problem where we again like this example like this uh, problem, I mean, uh, simplified the function user Shannon's expansion, but later we built circuit ourselves and put fill the value ourselves. But here we have um, circuit for us already given. But your objective, your task was to, f I mean, to use only just one instance of this uh, circuit, okay? Just one instance, C. Because uh, in the next problem, for example, uh, yeah, in the next problem, you can use more than one for example here yeah you can use more than one instances okay but here your objective was to use just one instance and we used only just one instance in order to use just one instance okay see it's very very tricky you know see uh, there's nothing is written about shannon's expansion right so if you try to build or if you try to yeah to build implement the circuit I mean implement the function using this instance uh, of the circuit I mean without simplifying this given without the simplifying this given function you will end up using more than one more than one instance of the circuit so it's very important to understand that most of the time you have to use automatically Shannon's expansion so that you will kind of simplify the function you will have a um, simpler form like this one. It's pretty easy to understand, right? So that then you'll just use one instance of the given circuit, okay? So I hope it's really understandable for you. So if you have any kind of questions, just please ask in a forum or contact us in the comment section of our Telegram channel. See you soon in our next tutorials.